it is Thursday, which means it's time for another video. This is after a request from that horror couple. They're actually on YouTube, so go check them out if you haven't checked them out before and subscribe to them. They're actually a obviously a couple, but I've been friends online with them for a couple of years, more than a couple of years, probably like over five years. Um, their names are Rob and Kaylee. Super nice. And if you guys ever want to do a collaboration, we should totally do a collaboration because I. I've done it before in the past and they're very fun. So we should definitely do that sometime. They requested for me to review um, Class of 1984. It is on Shudder. If you guys have not seen it, I do not own it. So I watched it on Shudder. I know recently, I think Joe Bob Briggs did it on his last drive. It, like they um, did it on their last, the, 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 I can't speak, the last drive-in. Um, I think the season, I didn't get a chance to watch that, but I wa just watched, um, Class of 1984, and this is one that I definitely want to pick up now that I watched it, because it's not really a straight horror film, it's kind of like, I don't know, it's more of like a crime thriller in a way, I mean, there's obviously death towards the end it's more like a horror film but the beginning of it's more of like a crime thriller supposedly the stuff that happened in this movie happened in real life based on true events I don't really know if that's true or not if anybody can tell me about that but this actually has a like people that I two people that I know in this movie Roddy McDowell who went on to be Peter Vincent in Fright Night um and then Michael J. Fox, which I think this might have been, if this came out in 1982, which is funny because it's called Class of 1984, if I'm correct, that's what Shudder said, um, and I think Family Ties, the show that Michael J. Fox was on, came out around the same year, so he's very young during this, but, um, in this, the, t the title... Like, the opening titles, it says Michael Fox. There's no J, so this is probably before he went as Michael J. Fox. And then the opening um, song, before I even figured out it was Alice Cooper, I knew it was Alice Cooper, just because Alice Cooper has a very distinctive voice. It's kind of like one of those voices you know um, when you hear it. But totally going a little... I mean, I'm kind of talking more about, like like the whole movie as a whole, but, um, class of 1984, it's basically this gang who runs a school and gets away with selling drugs. They sell coke to a kid where he's so coked out of his mind, he jump, he climbs on a flagpole and then falls off of it. Um, the one kid, Michael J. Fox's character, snitched on, um, the gang and he gets knifed during a um basically a planned uh riot type thing I guess it would be considered a riot and this teacher um knows what's going on and is trying to stop them but nobody really wants to listen to him they kind of let the kid because the kids are minors they're not 18 yet they're only 16 so they guess they can back then they could get away with shit like that. I don't know. Um but the teacher kinda he's a music teacher, he kinda takes it into his own hands to try to stop them. That's kinda what the final act is like. He um his wife actually gets taken from this like the gang kidnaps her. First they rape her, which I'm a little weird about I mean, you don't really see anything, but Obviously, you know what's happening in this movie. It's nothing like I spit on your grave or anything like that. But the wife gets raped. They kidnap her. And this is when I said how the end, like the sort of like the end of the movie is kind of like a horror film because the teacher <laughs> brutally kills like every single, like every single kid. It's crazy. He saw. There, there's like a table there in a, I guess the wood shop room in school and this all happens during a music like a little concert that his uh music class is doing that he ran out because he found out that his wife was 
was taken. But, um, I had a little moment there on my phone. Something popped up on my phone. But, uh, my, he saws a kid's arm, throws him on the table saw, the buzz saw, and then burns another kid, <laughs> like, badly. The one girl gets in a car. But she basically kills herself, though. Um, I, just, I guess the other guy got hit as well. And then the leader of the gang, he, I think his name is Steinman, he um, falls through the roof and gets hung right in the middle of the concert. So it's crazy. And then the movie just kind of ends. And, um, you know, supposedly the teacher never got prosecuted because nobody could, like, say who did it or whatever, like, what happened. Even the wife easily could have said something. But it, it's a great movie. Like, this is definitely one that I really want to pick up. I'm glad that you guys requested this for me to review because this is something that I haven't seen before. And I like watching new things. I've heard of it before, but never even watched a single scene of this movie. So it's great to um, watch stuff like this. I really enjoyed it and that's a plus for me is something that some of your requests that I actually can sit through the whole movie and enjoy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review of class of 1984. Comment down below on this video. Let me know what movies you guys want me to review next and I'll be sure to get to them as soon as possible. But in the meantime, I'll see you guys on Monday.